hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be filming my favorite skincare products for oily skin and for like normal to combo skin as well so if you're interested in that just keep on watching and don't forget to like and subscribe this video Today, we're going to be talking about different skincare products that I use that have worked for me. Now, I have oily skin, but these products can help you um, for oily and for oily combination skin. So, not for my dry skin, folks. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, I'm going to talk about some cleansers, some toners, some face masks that I love, and, like, the ingredients in them. They're really, really good. My skin is, like, pretty clear from these products, so I hope you guys like them. So I'm gonna start with the cleansers. Now I don't have a picture of, I don't have all of my cleansers here with me. So I'm just gonna put um, a picture like here if I can. But the first cleanser I wanna talk about, the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free Cleanser. Lightweight formula to remove excess oil and impurities for oily to normal skin types. So this is a really good cleanser. I use this cleanser on a daily basis. It gently massages, um, into the skin and it has like lemon so you can really smell it some of the ingredients i can't see the bottle because it's so clear but some of the ingredients include um, lemon fruit extract and stearic acid which is really good and mystic acid so these ones like really clear the skin of any impurities and it's just it's just a really good cleanser like i feel like it's very lightweight it doesn't make my skin feel dry afterwards which like a lot of um, oily skin cleansers just remove all the oils and you don't want that. Like even if you have oily skin, you shouldn't just strip your skin of like all the oils that it has. Because then your skin is just going to produce even more oil which can cause you to break out. So this is one of my favorite cleansers. You can find it at Kiehl's. I think it's like $21. Kiehl's is expensive, okay? So, but the products are very, very good. Now, another cleanser that I love that I don't have right now, but I do use it often, more than the oily skin one, more than the, the oil-free cleanser is the Calendula. It's the Calendula Herbal Extract um, Cleanser, but it's from Kiehl's as well, and it's really, really good. It's like a foaming face wash, and it has like a little pump, so you can just pump out how much ever you need, which like for this one, you I use a lot. Like sometimes I overuse, which is not good because I don't know how much to measure it. But um, for the foaming face wash, you just pump out like two pumps and then you're good. So I really like that one. I like it more than the oil free one. Um, it has a really nice, it doesn't have a lot of fragrance and it has a lot of good ingredients like calendula and um, other ingredients that I'm going to list down below in the description box. But it's really good. Um, then for toner, I use the Calendula Herbal Extract Toner, alcohol free. Now it's so so important that your toners are alcohol free. You don't want to put alcohol on your face. It will just dry your face even more and it will cause like breakouts and white spots on your skin as well. So this one's from normal to oily skin types made with whole flowers and pure extract. So you can see the flowers on, at the bottom of the bottle. I'm almost done with this one but I'm gonna... I'm gonna repurchase it for sure. So it says this effective toner is formulated with select herbal extracts to gently cleanse and soothe normal to oily skin types without the use of alcohol or harsh synthetic drying agents. Our calendula herbal extract toner may be used to soothe and improve problem areas. So this toner is really really good. I've been using this toner um since the beginning of the year so for like six months now and it really helps clear my skin like I usually use my toner after my face wash so to like clear any impurities that the face wash didn't clean and it's really really good i usually put it on like a little cotton pad and then i like use the cotton pad all over my face and that's what really helps out so this is a really good um toner if you guys are looking for one now another really good toner that i used before this is a mini but it's the ultra facial toner this is for all skin types so even my dry skin folks can use it so it prepares hydrates and comforts skin um, it's mild and it's really really good. I used this one before. Now for my oily skin folks, I didn't feel like this one worked for me as good as the calendula. Um, like it's a good toner, don't get me wrong, it's a very good toner. I just didn't feel like it 
cleaned as deep as the calendula did for me like i feel like it still left some things behind so but this one might be good for like normal to or normal skin folks or like combo skin so you know if you need one so after i do my toner i usually do my eye cream so i use the kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado now my entire skincare routine is kiehl's this video is not sponsored by kiehl's i just really love their stuff i feel like it's very nice and like it really does work so this one is like tiny <laughs> but if you can see it um it has avocado in it and it's so good like my eye bags are pretty much non-existent because of this eye treatment like i feel like it really moisturizes my eye area and i feel like it doesn't like a lot a, a little bit goes a long way like i've had this little guy um i don't even know since like january and i pretty much almost gone through it but i still have a little bit left so it's it, it a little bit goes a long way with this one i really love it now another good one is the ollie henriksen banana i'm gonna put a picture of it right here it's really good like that's the one that i used before kiehl's and that one really moisturized my eyes as well i just tried out the kiehl's one because i've heard really good things about it but this banana one is also really good like it really like penetrates into your skin and really moisturizes the area and a little bit goes a long way with that one too so if you're looking for one that's a really good one too so um after i do my eye cream before not anymore i used to use a serum so um now i switched a, to a different thing which i'm going to talk about but the serum that i used to use is this one it's the believe hydra 7 control essence lightweight mattifying serum so this is a really good serum it has like a water like texture so a serum is supposed to like get your skin ready for the moisturizer so it's just supposed to like really like go into your pores and just get it ready for some moisture so this one is really good for that and also it helps control like the oil levels in my face so i really recommend the serum um if you're first starting out your skincare routine now the reason why i don't use a serum anymore is because i feel like my skin benefits better from oils because i feel like um i had a lot of like dark spots on my skin and i wish i had a before picture but anyways um my skin had a lot of acne and a lot of dark spots and a lot of acne marks so i didn't really benefit from uh from a serum as much as other people now i repurchased this serum like two times so i was i really love it but it's just like it didn't work out that well for me this is the only serum that i used to, that i use just that i used to use just because it's like it's really nice and it's lightweight like it's it's a water like texture so it doesn't really like clog your pores or anything now what's been my holy grail is face oils so i know as an oily skin person like how are you gonna use oils like your skin is oily but hear me out so if your skin is oily that doesn't mean that you don't use oil-based products because your skin needs to balance out the oils and make sure that it's like the natural oils are still in place so I use two different face oils um, during the morning and the night instead of a serum. So I use this after I put on my eyes. So during the day, I use the Kiehl's Midnight, Con Midnight Recovery Concentrate, a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. So I know you're supposed to use this one at night, but I use it in the morning just because I feel like it's very lightweight compared to my other oil and i feel like the oil that i use for the nighttime is more heavy so i use it as like a sleeping mask kind of situation but this one is really really good it's a little expensive i'm gonna say it is a little expensive but it's so worth it like i I've, I've had it for like six months and it's only like it's only up to here so again a little bit goes a long way with this one it has like jasmine and lavender and i don't know what but it's really really good and it's a really good oil now my holy grail oil of all time like this is what really helped my skin turn around and what really helped my face like get to where it is today this is the ordinary 100 percent organic cold press rose hip seed oil now this oil is literally six dollars at sephora and it just really like you know at first my skin looked awful like my skin was like adjusting to like the oil 
but it was like it cleared all my acne marks it cleared all my acne spots it just did such a good job at like making my face look what it looks like today so i really love this and it's like six dollars at sephora it's like such a light it's a it's a high it's a heavy oil i'm not gonna lie so i only use like a tinsy tinsy bit but it's a really good oil and i really love it it also protects you it's a uv protective packaging clinically formulations with integrity like it's a nice it's just a hundred it's just rosehip seed oil so it's it's really good so after i put on my oils then i use my moisturizer which is also from kiehl's <laughs> don't kill me but this is the kiehl's ultra facial cream 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula for healthy looking skin with glacial glycoprotein so this is a really good moisturizer I'll tell you why so i like moisturizers that don't make my skin feel heavy and that make it feel like there's water on it like i like my moisturizer to feel like i'm not wearing moisturizer like it just makes my skin feel smooth but at the end of the day it's still lightweight so this moisturizer does just that like i only have to put on a little bit like on my face and then i'm set like it goes a, a little bit goes a long way and it's just really really good so i really recommend it another moisturizer that i really like is the belief water essence moisturizer i think that's what it's called but it's a really good moisturizer and i again it just leaves my face feeling like that's i used to use that moisturizer back when i used to use this serum but that moisturizer like really helped my skin like rebalance itself and it helped it against the sun too so that's really good so now we're gonna move on to my favorite part of skincare which is face mask i love face masks i'm a face mask junkie i love face masks so much like i have so many well right now i don't have that many but before i used to have a lot so the first one that i want to talk about is from kiehl's because y'all are tired of me talking about kiehl's but this is the kiehl's rare earth deep pore cleansing mask with amazonian white clay so this is more for like my oily skin folks like myself um amazonian white clay is really good at like um, going deep into your pores and taking out any impurities that you may have so I like to use this face mask maybe like once a week once every two weeks whenever I feel like my skin is really heavy especially in the summer when I just feel like my skin needs like an extra like vacuum cleaner to go through it that's how I feel with this like it really um, helps my skin kind of clean itself out and do the job um i feel like it's a little expensive i mean if this was 42 dollars but the tub is like all the way full and you don't need that much you use it for a pretty long time so i really like it now other face masks that i also love are from lush the the ones that you have to refrigerate the fresh face mask so i have two fresh face masks here these are empty pots but i still love them this is the oda fix fresh face mask so this one is really good it has like oatmeal it's just really heavy for my skin this is more for my dry skin folks Odafix has like oatmeal and vanilla almond and it's really good for dry to sensitive skin so this one didn't work out for me my skin felt really heavy afterwards but again it's because it's for dry skin folks my mistake um but the one i do really love is the don't look at me fresh face mask this one has lemon juice ground rice leaf complexions so this one oh my god this one is so so good like it leaves my skin glowing after i use it. it it has like a nice little scrub so you can scrub your face with it so i used to only use it like once every few days because the scrub is not that bad but you can only use it like once every few days and it does have a scrub because of the rice particles but this one is such a good face mask like i really recommend it it's so good the only bad thing about these face masks is that they only last like they're only good for like one or two weeks because they're like fresh face masks you have to put them in the fridge and everything so the only bad thing about them is that their life their shelf life is not that much and they don't like lush doesn't deliver them so you have to go to the store physically and buy them so that's a little bit of a downside but they're so worth it and when you collect five like black pots they give you one for free so i think that's really cool now another face mask that i swear by that really helps my skin is the cup of coffee face and body mask 
so this one has like actual physical coffee beans like inside of it and it's like a little scrub but it literally smells like coffee and it's so so good like i feel like it really helps my skin kind of like get its life together you know what i mean like when my skin is looking kind of dull and kind of bad like i usually like put this face mask on while i'm in the shower while i'm shaving or something and it really helps restore my skin so i really love it it has like all natural ingredients it has agave syrup kaolin coffee it has um vetiver oil vanilla oil cocoa extract like it's just really these face masks are really natural so if you're someone who likes their like like they're not their bad chemicals but if you are someone who likes their aesthetic like their synthetic chemicals like i don't know um like bentonite glycerin titanium dioxide things like that then Kiehl's is more for you if you're more of a, like a natural herbalist then lush is more yours all right guys so that concludes this video i know i talked about lush a lot i mean not lush i know i talked a lot about Kiehl's. it's just because i use Kiehl's a lot for my face so that's just what i use personally but i hope you guys found this video helpful and um i hope you guys give these products a try because they're worth it and they're really really good they've set my skin really nicely like they really helped me and i hope they help you guys too so yeah guys i hope i see you in my next video don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah i hope to see you soon bye